Have you ever felt suicidal? Have you ever felt like the world isn't fair and it just doesn't like you? Like it singles you out personally and only makes your life hell? I have. I do. Something called depression. Anxiety. It's shit. It sucks. Some people don't get it. Other people do. Some people say that they have it. Some people don't. Some people, even though they do, it's just, it's just the way of life. Just the way people work. They'd rather deny than accept having it. It's horrible, really. It makes you rethink reality. It makes you rethink everything. It makes everything change in your eyes as soon as you learn about it. And when you try to do new things, it becomes a hindrance. It becomes such a pain in the ass that you don't want to deal with it. And it bring and depression brings on these thoughts like suicide and anxiety and all that shit that no one cares about. <laughs> Why am I saying this? Because I have a funny suicidal story. <laughs> Those are two things that should not fit in the same sentence. Funny, suicidal. Eh, but they do. I don't know why, but they do for this. It was, what happened was so dumb, so stupid, that it made me laugh and instantly stop feeling suicidal. Just like that. It was just done, it was over, and I was no longer feeling suicidal. I was laughing at the stupidity of the situation. <laughs> Let me explain the story. <laughs> oh my god, it was so dumb. Um, pretty much, back... Pretty much, pretty two years ago, probably. I, I would say, I would say two years ago. That's probably a rough estimate. Pretty good. I was out of school. Actually, probably be three years ago. But I wasn't in school anymore. I was feeling really depressed. I was staying up late at night, and most of the time, I was just sitting there thinking, "What if I just stopped? What if I just pulled the plug? Everything gone, disappeared, nada." You know, that, that happened a lot. That was a big thought process in my brain throughout that time. Obviously, I got through it. I grew through it. Now, I'm at, got, trying to go to uni, but I'm having a rough time. It's really shit, and it feels like it's repeating, which is why I've thought about this story, which has made me laugh again. But, pretty much in the story. So, I was sitting on my bed, right? And whenever you feel down... You, you, sometimes you just want to end it, but other times you're like, I remember what they said. They said, if you ever feel depressed, call up a hotline. Call up Beyond Blue, call up, I think it's just, I don't remember what the other ones are called, but all I remember is Beyond Blue. I don't know if that was the one I called or not. I really don't, but it was the funniest thing to me at the time, because... Pretty much, what happened, the gist of the situation was, I was on the brink. I I was holding pills in my right hand, right hand, phone in my left. And I knew that if I didn't do something, these pills would probably be done. They would be, they would be gone, and so would I. So I called up Beyond... Well, let's just say it's Beyond Blue. I don't remember if it was Beyond Blue, but that's the only one I can remember at the moment. So fuck it. I called up Beyond Blue. <laughs> and... What happened was, I called them up, and as I sat there waiting, phone to my head, just... Ring, ding, a ring, a ding, ding. <laughs> Guess what happened? Nothing! They don't have 24-hour service! That's like going to Macca's, and then just not getting served! It's like, what are you doing? This is the peak time of the depressed, and now you're just not gonna serve them. I called them up in a deep state of panic, wanting it all to be over, and no one had picked up. It was almost like the world went, hey, your depression's not good enough to be talked about. Leave us alone. <laughs> just. Hilarious, because I got sent to like some fucking robot that was like, Hello, we are currently not available at this time. Please call again at our working hours, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, why the fuck would you not have a 24-hour service? It's dumb, it's stupid, and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> that, and that's what saved me that day. 
not the fact that I got on the line with someone and was able to talk out my feelings. I was able to go, yeah, I just really hate bagel bites and they make me sad. It was the fact that no one picked up. The fact that I got sent to a robot and the robot pretty much went, yeah, mate, why are you depressed at this hour? This is like peak time. This is where everyone's happy. Where everyone never wants to kill themselves. Who wants to kill themselves at night? <laughs> Only like half of the fucking planet. I never under- I, I still don't understand why it doesn't have 24 hour service. But that's just funny. I was sitting on the bed and I started to laugh at the situation that this phone service was going to- Well, pretty much- let me, would have let me end it there, and been there like, oh, well, we don't have 24-hour service, sorry. <laughs> it was, it was so stupid, yet hilarious to me. I sat on the bed, and laughed, and no longer thought about committing suicide, and instead thought about, what a shit freaking thing to happen. I was so close, and they were just there like, and, get over yourself. Like, do you understand the gravity of the situation to be sitting there thinking, I want to end it all. And then for the com for some random freaking company to go, okay. <laughs> I just find it funny. I find it so dumb that I was sitting on my bed and they just cared so little. They just nada. They just did not care. And I sat there, and I laughed. I laughed my head off, and then I went to sleep. And then I woke up in the morning, told my parents, and they're like, The fuck is wrong with you? Why didn't you tell us? And I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> When you're depressed, do you feel like going, Hello, world. I'm going to kill myself today. What about you, sweetie? And it, it was a really funny moment for my life. Yeah, but... So pretty much what I'm saying is, if you're feeling depressed... Maybe check the times that uh, you can call the health line. <laughs> and maybe just go talk to a family member instead. Because, sure, they're a great thing if you can call them. But if you can't, well, just go talk to family. I mean, if you're feeling depressed, I'm sure most of them would actually feel happy to talk to you. Unless you're in a horrible situation, then get out of it as soon as possible. Anyway... I've been Six-Tailed Kitsnate. If you want more stupid things like this, let me know. I just think it's funny. I'll see you later.